So let's talk. I always start a video with so. Why do I do that? Let's have a drink of a brew. We're going to talk about Adobe Premiere in this uh, video. In this video, I'm going to go through some of the shortcuts and things that I've found that have sped up my workflow, which has enabled me to be able to create videos much, much faster. So without further ado, it is Tutorial Tuesday or What Works Wednesday. I have no idea what we're going to call this yet. Um, but if you know, please leave me a comment and let me know what you think these videos should be called in a theme. If you want to like to subscribe to the video, hit subscribe, like and all that business. But anyway, let's jump straight into this video. So my number one tip for using Adobe Premiere and making things quicker is to set it up how you want. But before you do that, if you're a new user, I would recommend going into Window and Workspaces and just working your way through the workspaces that are available you can use shortcuts to go through them or you can go window workspaces so for example you want to do your assembler that's uh, shift alt and 2 and that will take you to your assembly workspace the next one is shift alt 3 and that will take you to your audio workspace that's your audio workspace and shift alt and 4 is adding graphics shift alt 5 you kind of get the idea you're now doing color grading and once you've kind of got used to all these different windows and panels you can start creating your own i created my own quite quickly just by going to window and adding all the, the things that i use on a regular basis and once you've got that in place you can go to workspace and go to save new workspace and once you save your new workspace you can always access it and, and it's just always there just in case you move all your panels around and it starts to look messy and you don't know what's happened you can just go back in and select your workspace and away you go. So that's my number one like shortcut for Adobe Premiere and making things a lot quicker. So my next tip would be to have a decent folder structure. Now, if you haven't got a folder structure for your video making, you can actually find one on my website. I do sell my folder structure for my video making on my website. I'll leave a link in the description so you can go check that out. But a good way to keep things organized so you can move quick is to have a good folder structure. My folder structure within my Adobe Premiere down here kind of matches my folder structure on my computer. You can actually drag a folder into your bin where you keep all your footage on Adobe Premiere. So in my OBS folder on here, I can just drag that in and it'll stay inside the folder. And it keeps things organized. You can even organize it by camera. You could organize it by where you were, location, and then you just drag them in and it keeps things organized. Keeping things organized is always gonna speed up your workflow. Next thing we're gonna look at is editing some footage down really quickly. So I'm just gonna drag a bit of footage down onto the timeline. You want to zoom in first of all. So let's use the plus button to zoom into the footage. So we're just pressing plus, which is next to zero, uh, the dash and the delete. So plus or minus, we'll zoom in and out. We're gonna to work to the audio. So we're gonna drag that a little bit bigger so we can see the audio. So let's say we want to chop the beginning off and the traditional way of doing it will be using the razor tool and chopping some footage up into bits and then going along and just deleting the bits that you don't want and doing it that way. There's a quicker way than that. So to chop the beginning off, to go with the playhead and put it where you want to cut the audio down, press Q and the same works for the doing it at the end of the footage. So let's say you've got some dead air at the end of the footage there. You want to just chop that off quickly. Press W and that quickly chops it off. Let's do it to the next bit of footage as well. Q for there. W there. Okay. So if we were say if we've got a big patch in the middle of it and we've made a massive mistake, uh, all we need to do there is to press Command and K. And then we can go to the bit where the footage is actually all right and we can press Q and it takes that out. So there's a really quick way using Q, W and Command K to be able to cut down your footage at speed. My next shortcut would be if you're using the audio gain tool, rather than selecting all of your footage and pressing on the right mouse button and going audio gain, which brings up this panel, you can do it by just quickly pressing G on your keyboard and it pops the same audio gain tool. The next shortcut I could recommend is to create an effects bin. 
To do that, we're going to Window and the workspaces we're going to choose is Effects. You can also go Window and then Effects and you'll get this Effects panel. So we're going to create a custom bin and we're going to add all the different effects that we use all the time to this custom bin. So we're going to create a custom bin, we're going to name it, we're going to start adding different stuff to this effects bin. So I like to use a music dip voiceover. I also like dip to black, I'm going to drag that in as well. I also use constant power a lot, so I'm going to add that one in there. So now when I come into my favourites, I've got these three ready to use whenever I do my edit and I can just literally drag say constant power onto the end of my audio and if I wanted to do a dip to black I can just straight add that to the end of my footage. The next tip I'm going to show you is the track select forward and you can access this by hitting A on your keyboard and this is for when you've got lots and lots of footage to the left or the right that you want to select. So let's say we want to select all the footage to the right of my playhead. So I've hit, I've hit A and now we can select all the footage to the right and we'll do it to the right and you see if you want to do it to the left you press shift and A and it'll select everything to the left. Press A for the right, Shift and A for the left. So th that helps you for when you've got lots and lots of footage and you don't want to have to go through and just manually select everything to the right or everything to the left and move it all around. There are many different ways that you can speed up your workflow in Adobe Premiere Pro. You can go and download my folder structure. I'll leave a link in the description of this video. You can also access a keyboard shortcut skin that you can buy from Amazon or other places online. We'll leave a little affiliate link for that also in the description of this video. If you got something out of this video, guys, smash the like button, subscribe to the channel. I will see you in another one of my videos shortly. Thanks for watching.